You know, guys, this is the fastest I have ever gotten done the competitive pass when it comes to getting the first player. I know there's a lot of people out there who get done the competitive pass a lot faster than I have and have gotten, you know, this Justin Jefferson a long time ago. I mean, it's only been, what, six days since this has come out. But still, I know there's people who gotten done this Justin Jefferson before me. But still, I am pretty damn happy of how quickly I got this Justin Jefferson. And when I tell you this card is absolutely amazing, man. This card is next level, bro. I am so happy to finally have this done. And, oof, to get done. I mean, like, okay, so I got done pretty much all the Mutt Champs, except for one. Solo Battles, I just have two. Head to head, I have this. Gotten done most of this stuff. And one thing good is, throughout this uh, series, I've been getting these touchdown packs. I have actually had good pulls out of these packs. Ironically enough, I don't record it, and I actually get good pulls, which is kind of amazing. Because when I do record, I feel like I always get bad pulls. So, I feel like EA Sports does not love me. But anyway, though, oh lordy, this is level 38. I will get level 38, and I will eventually get that card. I guarantee you that. But the question is, who do we get rid of? Because... I don't, do I get rid of Dante Hall? Alright, so who is technically... I won't say technically the slowest, but everyone has 95 speed. So I gotta get rid, rid of one of these receivers now. But the question is, who? Toy Holt, I'm not getting rid of him. Because he's actually been a monster for me. Jerry Rice... He's been great. Hinesworth has 96 speed. Dante Hall has 96 speed. Um, man, I think it might be Sergeant Largent. I don't know, because Sergeant Largent... I mean, they've all been absolute like monsters for me. So that's my issue right now. I'm now sitting in a spot where I have too many great receivers for my own good. Um... Let me think. Right, I'm going to take out Sergeant Largent for right now. Having there that 98 overall J Jettis. Freaking animal card. Bro. Those stats. I mean, they're not the greatest of all time, but 98 speed is pretty good. 98 speed is not bad. Okay, so... I might just rock with this, and I'm just going to sell... Um, Sergeant Largent. I hate to do that, because I do like Sergeant Largent, but... I feel like out of all the cards, he just is the odd man out. Um, oh, here we go. Okay, I got to take out this guy. And let me actually put him back in. I got this card earlier. It was the NAT card I got from completing the field path there. Um, all right, so I think... Plus, if I sell Sergeant Logent, I might be able to pick up another Bo Jackson. And I... Uh, I, I love picking up Bo Jackson, guys. That Bo Jacksons, all the Bo Jacksons are freaking OP as heck. EA went a little extra crazy with the Bo Jacksons in this game. I don't know why they thought that was a good idea, but for some reason they did. Okay, so how much does Sergeant Logan actually go for? Let me check Mutt.gg so I can actually put him up for the correct price tag. Looks like he goes for like 190 Right now, the cheapest one up is 194 So, we're going to go around 190 here. And now the question is, which bow do I go with? So, hold up. So, there's a bow halfback card. There's a bow running. There is a halfback, Bo Jackson. I could go with him. But I don't really need a running back. Is there a bow wide receiver? I know there's a bow tight end. And that Bo Jackson tight end is kind of OP. Alright, so we have a Bo Jackson running back, a Joe uh, Bo Jackson quarterback, and we have a right outside linebacker. Which I'm not really amped to go for. Bo Jackson has... Hold up, guys. L let me pull this up for you. This is... I, I, I did not look too far into the Bo Jacksons. Why on God's green earth? Does this right outside linebacker bow 
need to have 97 zone and 97 man. Why is that? Why does that need to be a thing? Who at EA Sports said, we're going to release Bo Jacksons into the game and give them 97 man and 97 zone and 98 speed? Why? Where where was the the quality control on these cards? Cause I don't think they implemented them at all. This is a tight end bow. We have the cornerback bow. Who actually wait, how does the cornerback bow have less man and zone coverage than the last well, linebacker bow? You know, there's a part of me that feels like EA Sports really just Pull stuff out of their butt when it comes to creating these stuff. Because I don't get how... How does this bow have less man and zone than the other bow that's a right outside linebacker? Who's literally a linebacker. Um, quarterback bow, I have him. Running back bow. What is this bow? Outside... Okay, this is a right outside linebacker bow. Alright, so... I feel like the best move here is to honestly go with... The what I saw linebacker bro. Because I mean the guy has 97 zone coverage. He just feels even more broken for no reason. Ooh, and I could technically I'm not gonna sell Trail Slugs. I'm gonna tell you right now, Trail Slugs might be the best card in Madden. I literally had another game where I had like three oh two pick sixes with him. So I feel like the move is either right outside linebacker bow or tight end bow. Because tight end bow also is like just broken as heck. 98 speed. Yeah. He has no run block though, which I don't really like. But the speed alone is amazing. I don't know. Guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. Should I go OP and just start building up a whole bow army on my team? Because that's kind of what I want to do at this point. <laughs> I've been playing so many games online at this point. That I've been just going against these Bo Jacksons. And ironically enough. I mean if you've played these Bo Jacksons. You probably know. They're really not that OP. I mean they're good. Don't get me wrong. And if they get an open field. It can be a problem. But as long as you have a pretty good squad. Which I think our No Money Spent squad is pretty damn good. You're going to be able to contain most of, if not all, the problems when you're going against this Bo Jackson. Maybe not 100%, but a good amount you can control. So, it is what it is. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.